next task we're going to look at is three-dimensional rendering. Again, as I showed on the first video, this can often be made simpler if you create yourself a colour palette for a start by drawing out a rectangle, dividing it up into five equal segments. It's one, two, three, four, five. Dark as you can in five, as light as you can in one, medium in three, and then four between three and five, so an intermediate shade, and two again will be slightly darker than one, but not quite as dark as three. This particular one to five set will work for the circle. And for that one, you can simply look at the engager that was previously demoed. In regards to the square, again, we're assuming the sun is at the top left. And again, as with the previous demo video, light on top, dark on the far side, medium on the left hand side. So we'll be going for one, five, and three. Where different skills come in are on curved surfaces and angled surfaces. The top of this cylinder is fairly straightforward. The whole shape will be light. So we just go as light as possible, run across and try and get a consistent colour. I'm not going to spend a lot of time drawing this out as it's only a demo video to give you the idea of what you're doing. From there, if we're doing the front edge of the cylinder, we will be moving from it being medium on the left hand side through to dark on the right hand side as it moves around the shape. So what we would need to do in this particular shape, I'm going to start off dark as I move around and I gradually get lighter through to what we would consider to be a three or you could even go to a two if you wanted to. So again just working around, making it darker as you go in so you've got consistent colour and then just apply it up to the top so you can work around your edges. Gradually shading in. So that's fairly straightforward. Obviously you would complete the rest of the shape. With the pyramid Again, it's slightly different. There is no top to be light, so what we would assume is the top of the side facing the sun will be the lightest, and as we go down the shape, we will move to a medium. As the top on the right hand side of the shape is facing away from the sun, it couldn't be light, so we would go for a medium shade on the top, and as we move down the shape, we would go to dark. So again, this particular shape, I'm going to work my way up from the bottom, going from dark through to a medium shape, shade as we're getting towards the top. And again, apply it to the whole shape. From there, once we've got our medium shade, we would start medium shade the bottom down here, work our way lighter and lighter as we move towards the top and apply it to the whole shape. So you would obviously continue this till you've done the whole shape. Once you've completed all the basic shapes, you can have a go with a little robot at the bottom. Again, using the skills you've learnt from the other shapes, from the square, cylinder, pyramid and the circle, you would then be able to do a fully rendered up drawing of the robot.